it's Diane at Minerva. I hope you're all having a super week and today I'd like to share with you a sew along for this wonderful simplicity cardigan or coat depending on how you'd like to wear it. I think it's a fabulous make for the autumn winter months and a great put on for when you're out and about. It's also fabulous for using our Minerva exclusive range of sweater knits and that's what we're going to be using today. So this particular design here is called a rugged trail. Some gorgeous autumn colours there in this one. Now the fabric is 138 centimetres wide, it's medium weight, it's got a 70% stretch width and a 20% stretch length, it's 96% polyester and 4% elastic. So great for a sweater. Now should you wish to sew along with us today everything will be linked in the description below. So you need to watch out for the simplicity pattern, the sweater knit in rugged trail, a matching thread and I'm also going to link below some of our Minerva Maker labels. So they say hashtag Minerva Maker on the back and they are great for adding that extra special touch to all your handmade items. Now while you're here why not take a look at the Minerva Craft Club. With the Minerva Craft Club you get 10% off all your orders for a whole year and that will include anything that you buy with us today. You can also create a free account and join in our wonderful sewing community. With a free account you can share all your projects and future makes in one place to come back to them later. So save all your fabrics, notions, patterns and ideas. You can gain inspiration from other people and it's just a really good place to share your sewing hobby. It's all completely free so why not go ahead and do that now. Now, before we begin, you want to wash and prepare your fabric as you would normally. So when you've prepared the fabric, take your pattern and a tape measure. Now, locate your sizing on the back. It's always best to measure yourself before we begin because uh, pattern sizes can vary and don't just go for your standard dress size. If you measure yourself first, we can ensure a perfect fit. When you've done that, we're going to go and we're going to cut for version A here. Well, it says AD at the top. They are all very similar. So if you'd like to sew along with any of the other versions, please feel free to do so, but stop at the appropriate steps. So let's go and cut our pattern pieces now. So here we have our pattern pieces. So this is your back piece for versions A, B and C. You're going to cut one piece on the fold of the fabric. Here is the fold. Make a note of the circles and the notches. This is your waistline here. Make a note of the pocket lines. And then here we have our cutting views. So this is the view for B, C and A. So we're making A and for each of these we have a 5cm hem allowed. Here we have our front piece for A, B and C. This time we're going to cut two pieces. Make a note of this fold line here. Mark your notches and your circles. This is a straight grain. Here is your waistline. Make a note of the pocket lines and again your cutting views. Here we have our pocket pieces. So this pocket here, this is a straight grain, you're going to cut two of this one in your main fabric, make a note of the fold line and the notch. Here we have our pocket lining, you're going to cut two. You could cut this in the main fabric if you wish, I've chosen to cut this one in a lining fabric. This is your straight grain, again cut two. So now we're ready to begin making our cardigan or coat. First of all you want to wind half of your thread onto your spool, then check your machine needle is sharp. 
Now I'm using a ballpoint needle today and it's a size 90. Now you may wish to try a little piece of scrap fabric and have a little play around and see what works for you but I find a 90 on this particular sweater knit is just right for me. When you've done that we're going to take our two front pieces and we're going to join the centre back seam at the top where they overlap. So I will show you this now on the table. So just here you see you have these two pieces and here are the notches in the middle. So here is the curve at the front here. So we're joining these two pieces together. So we want right sides facing, so I'm going to flip this one over. Now we have our right sides together. And now we're going to join this seam here. So you may want to pin it first of all, down the center. Then we're going to stitch that in place with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. Now we're going to join front to back at this back seam here. So these are the two pieces that you've just joined together. And then we've opened it up and we're matching our notches along our back piece. So this is your back piece here with right side facing upwards. So we bring right sides together. Here is your central seam. We're matching these notches here and here and these two at the center, center back. And then what you need to do is you need to ease in this bit in between. So if you pull on this a little before pinning it, so pin your notched parts first of all and then you bring the rest of it to fit like this and pin that in position. Then when you've done that you can finish pinning all the way along but always do your notched parts first of all before placing in the rest of your pins and this will make it easier. Now we're going to stitch along there with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. open up your armhole like this so this is your shoulder seam and then take your sleeve piece now you have your circle mark here this wants to be matched up with the shoulder seam so right sides facing we're going to match that circle there with the shoulder seam here and pin that in place and then also match up your notches here And your remaining circles at each side. So we have a small circle here do the same at the other side and again always pin in place your notches first of all and your markings before adding the rest of your pins. It just makes it easier to fit it in. Then when you've done that, we're going to stitch that in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Pin your lining to your pocket at the top here. You're going to stitch along here and along this side. You're going to leave an opening at the centre here for turning through. So just join this top bit to begin with. Then stitch it all the way around like this, around this side. Snip around the curves and turn your pocket through. Close your pocket bag on the other side. So here is your hole. Make sure that it's flat. Make sure that both of your main fabric sides are turned inward so that you don't want your lining bagging out like this. So make sure that it's pulled to the back, pin it down if you need to and stitch it from the wrong side. 
in this line of stitching here where the lining meets the main fabric. In your pocket to front and back on pocket line. So you have your markings on your front and your back pieces. This is the coat opened up and this is the side seam. So the pocket is placed across the seam. Part of it goes onto the back here and part of it is onto the front. Pin it down flat and then you're going to stitch close to this edge. Press back your facing on your fold line of your jacket and then turn it back at the bottom. Here you're going to stitch up five centimeters from the bottom onto the facing here. So place it under your machine. I'm going to leave a little amount here, just maybe a centimeter before I begin. Back tack here and I've made some markings here look, with my ruler and my pen. Now that we've stitched that we can cut this away but don't cut too close to here because this is going to be turned up and this will form your hem. This forms your front facing. Edge finish or press under the remainder of your hem and hem around the bottom of your jacket. Hem your jacket. Now would be a good time to add in your Minerva label if you're adding one. So we are about to top stitch all the way around our facing on our jacket. So that means we're folding it in at the back neck here. So if you find your central back fold, just here, and if you wish, at this point, you can place your Minerva label just there at the centre back seam. Also, you could add it at the side seam if you don't like labels at the back of your neck. So that's where I'm going to put mine today. Now you can also stitch in this seam at the centre back to stop your back facing and collar from moving about. So I've added a few pins here, look. I'm going to just stitch down that central seam. Now pin your facing down all the way around your jacket like this. And I'm doing mine from the inside, you might wish to do it from the outside and top stitch. We're going to stitch it all the way around the facing, catching it in. enjoyed sewing along with me today. Have you sewn this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments below along with any photographs. We always love to see what you've been making and you can also ask any questions in the comments and we'll do our best to help you in any way we can. I think this is a really useful little item for your wardrobe. You can wear it as a coat or you can wear it as a cardigan around the house so it makes it really versatile and it has a nice casual, comfortable shape to it. I really super make. I look forward to seeing what you've been making with this pattern. Now, if you like what I'm wearing today, this is another one of our Minerva um, knit fabrics and this one is called Monstera Street Design, this one. I'll stand up so you can see if you're interested in this particular pattern. This one is a Mimi G sweatshirt 
and it's this one, 9450, and I made this cover version here, if you're interested in an additional make today. Well, that's all for today. I hope to be back with another sew along really soon. But remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.